Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be covering on how you can actually migrate email into Microsoft Outlook using the PST method. Now, this was actually requested by a viewer who was watching my previous video, which you can find the link in the description box below, um, which is a video which I created on how you can migrate email into Microsoft 365 using the IMAP method. Now, reasons why you might want to do it this way using the PST is, one, it's probably because it's if you are migrating a few email accounts, maybe just for yourself, it's going to be the quickest, most easiest way to do it. Um, and two, if you haven't got many accounts to migrate, again, it's just going to save a bit of time. So what I've done for today's video, guys, is I've set up a virtual machine and I've also just set up a Microsoft demo tenant just to, dem just to demonstrate this purpose. Now, this will actually work with other providers. Um, so if you are maybe using IMAP as well, like, like an individual IMAP server with some company like GoDaddy or FastHosts, um, again, this will also work if you're migrating to that as well. But I'm going to be showing you on how you can basically export email in Microsoft Outlook to a PST file and then re-import it into an email account. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to, you're going to jump straight into your Microsoft Outlook. So if you haven't got Outlook, you will need to get that and install it. And then you'll then need to add your email account that you're looking to export your data from. So what I've got is I've just created a demo account up here. This is on one of the demo tenants. So I've just imported some emails from an old email account that I've got spare. So as you can see, I've got some emails here. There's 57 uh, unread and there's a few folders, for example, here like these are just some folders which I created at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now export this data to a PST file. So how you do that in Microsoft Outlook is if you just go up to the file icon in the top left hand corner and then you go down to open and export on the left hand side of the menu on the ribbon and then you just go to import and export right here. Now what this will do is this will bring up a little wizard menu here. So the one you're going to be looking at guys is export to a file. And you're just going to click on next. And then you're going to have Outlook data file PST. So you're going to select this one here. And it's now going to ask you which sort of files or which folder you want to export. Now take a close look at this because if you actually want to migrate all of the folders, you're going to select. I, I well, this is what this is what I normally do anyway. So I normally select the account at the top, which is the top of the tree. So that will now include all of the folders down below. And as you can see here, there's an option saying include subfolders. However, maybe you don't want to migrate all of your subfolders, and you just want to migrate maybe just the inbox or maybe one of your subfolders under the inbox. Again, you can create multiple PST files if you want to. But if you just want to migrate everything in one batch, and this is this is basically how you do it. So again, what I do is I select the whole the account as a whole, and then I'm going to click on include subfolders, and it's going to click next. And then now it's going to ask you where you want to save it to. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop here, and I'm just going to call this. Uh, you can call it whatever you like. It's just for your own personal reference. So I'm just going to call it migration, and then just click OK. And then it's going to give you some options here. So it says replace duplicates with items exported, allow duplicate items to be created, or do not export duplicate items. So if you've got duplicate emails and you don't want to have duplicate emails in your uh, in your migration process, again, you can obviously click on maybe do not do not export duplicate items. But uh, again, in this case, I'm not really that bothered. So I'm just going to click on replace duplicates with items exported. So I'm just going to click on finish here. Now, the next option it's going to ask you is um, if you want to create a password. Now, this might be if you are maybe using a computer that might be shared because someone could essentially just re-add your PST file into the Outlook and then suddenly see all of your email content. So if you have got some uh, sort of private information there, again, most you probably do because it's an email account. You, and again, you can just pop a password in. But for the demo, for today's uh, demo, I'm not even going to put a password in. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Click OK. Now that will take some time, so if you have got quite a large mailbox, it will take a bit of time. You'll see a little wizard box come up and it will start showing progress. Um, because I've not got much data here today, I've only got a few emails, there's only 189 at the moment. Um, that's why it's just gone through, but that's all completed now. So it didn't show the wizard box just because there's not much data. But again, if you do have a lot of data, then it will show a wizard box. It may take about 10 to 15 minutes or maybe even longer, depending on how much data you've got. So if we now just jump back into our desktop, um, you'll now see that I've now got a P my PST file, which is here. And it is only 48 meg in size, which is good. So that won't take long to migrate at all. So what you're now going to do is in Outlook again, you're now going to add your other email accounts that you want to migrate to. 
So again, if you are migrating to Microsoft 365, you may be, um, you may actually just add that account into Microsoft Outlook. So I've added another account here called Migration Demo, which I've set up under the same tenant. So, uh, but if you are migrating from another tenant or another provider, again, it doesn't matter as long as you've got the two accounts in here. Uh, again, you can export and then just re-import into the other one, vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now select on the inbox of the um, of the account that I'm migrating to. So I'm now going to go up to File at the top left. I'm just going to go over to Open and Export again, so same process, and then go down to Import and Export. Now, the other option we're going to select now, guys, is here where it says Import from another program or file, and then just click Next. And again, you get the option there to select a PST. So it's going to select this one right here. And then again, we've just got to now go and locate where that file is. So because we saved it to our desktop, we've just got to go grab that. So let's just go down to Browse, and then go to Desktop, and then Migration. And then just open that up right there. I'm just going to leave it all as it is again. So I'm going to click on Replace Duplicates with Items Exported, and then go to Next. And now this is where you want to pay a bit of close attention to. So at the top here, as you can see, if I open it up, you'll see that it shows all of the data that's in the um, that's in the PST. So this is on, because obviously I selected the account as a whole. It's going to show all folders and also any subfolders I created. Now at the bottom, um, this is again if, you, if you've got multiple accounts in your Microsoft Outlook, you want to make sure that you're migrating to the correct account. That's usually why I normally select on the on a folder uh, on the left hand side in Outlook first to make sure that is the account that will show. So, but just if you're, if you're not sure, just click on this little uh, dialog box down here. And as you can see, you can then select which account you want to migrate it to. So I'm going to migrate it to the migration demo account that I've set up. And again, I'm just going to leave it as import items into uh, in the same folder in, and then obviously the same folder as the account. So if you click on finish right here, that'll then just take a moment. And then as you can see, all the emails will now start populating. So what you're going to do then, guys, is at the bottom right, as you can see down here, it's now actually updating the folders. Now, what that actually means is it's now just uploading the data to the server, to Microsoft servers. So you go and leave that running and then just let it finish. And then once it has finished, you will then see it will update to saying all folders are up to date. So leave that running. That will now migrate all of the data into that account. And then once that's done, that's it. You've now migrated using the PST method. So as I said, it's fairly quick and easy. It's it's a good way of doing it if you want to migrate accounts, maybe just for your own personal accounts, or if you're just migrating a couple of accounts, you want to do it like a, a bit of a quicker and easier method. But again, guys, um, hopefully the video has helped out. If you do have any questions about this process, again, please leave a comment down in the box below. I do read all the comments, um, and obviously I do also try and create videos if it is requested. And also please smash that like button as well, because it really does help out. And of course, if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks again for watching all. Take care for now. Bye-bye.